Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am here to share a couple more projects with you that I have made using the Scrap Diva Designs dies um, for the December release um, for my um, design team package. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is this one. It is called the K-Cup Gift Box. So let me show you what pieces come with it. Okay, so this is your uh, total base piece for your box. And then, of course, your cups go there. This one here, so you just cut one of these. This is your back piece that this is going to, like, fold up to, to the back. So it's this piece right here. Okay. And then you get... Um, let me show you the rest of it here. Don't do that. Okay, so then this is your side piece. You cut two of these and then this is the like the drip piece from like frosting or whatever you want it to be that will layer on top of there okay you get that you get the words um, coffee break with the shadow piece and then you get two cups and the steam and spoons more steam coffee beans all kinds of fun stuff that you can use to um, decorate if you want to go that route. So that's the pieces that come with it. Stick them back here in my little pouch. And so this is what I made. So I didn't have any K cups. I don't do K cups. So <laughs> I had to. I ran over to the dollar store and bought some. And so I. I actually have them in here. I was, I was going to do something else in them, but I decided to go ahead and do the, the K-Cups. Um, I'm going to give this as a teacher gift, and so um, I just thought it looked really cute. So I have the two K-Cups. Um, I also decorated back here. I hung one of those um, cute little ornaments, so she'll have an ornament also. And then I thought I would put some, like, um, wrapped peppermint candies around, too, once I put it in the bag um, to give to her. But So anyway, here's my little drip piece back here in the back. Um, I punched a hole up here once I had it layered, and then I um, tied some um, eyelash trim to hold the um, to hold the ornament right there, and then I put a bow on top. Um, this candy cane with bow is was a die for my um, in my stash already, and then I put a little sticker there, and then these two, um, and I topped it with these two cute. Um, Rosettes. These were made for me. I didn't make those. These are the real thick ones that I was um, made in a swap, which I love. And they have little sparkles on the sides and the gold balls on top. I went ahead and pasted a piece of uh, pattern paper down here on the bottom too, and then just a, a chipboard piece from an ephemera pack that I had, or a chipboard pack that I had. And then this is a piece from the paper also that I cut out it says Merry Christmas and I just tuck that back inside there um, the paper that I've been using all my, pro all my products for this um, all my projects for this month so far has been the um, down the chimney paper pad so it's just a paper pad there's no nothing to go with it so I just been kind of you know using other stuff that I've had in my stash already to decorate and stuff but yeah this is really fun so I put a little tag on the back and you know put uh, who it's from and stuff so yeah I'm gonna package that up in a in a plastic and put some shred and some peppermints and I'll give that to Rosalind teacher so anyway I think that turned out pretty cute and then the next I'm gonna share with you is this one which is called star closure clip tags okay let me take these out you get four different sizes in the set I'm going to show you. So you have your largest, and then the next, next, right here, like that, and then here's the next size, the smallest. So that's the dies that you get with it. Okay. So let me show you what I made. These are really fun. Um, and you can actually put them around a gift. You know, like if you, you know, like a bread tie, um, a bread tag. And, um, you know, they're fun to wrap around, you know, gather something up and clip them on there. 
Okay, so the first one I did is this one. This is the largest. And this one I cut out of pattern paper, the pink back there. And then I also cut it out of vellum. I thought if I, that it would probably even hold up better, you know, putting it on and off of a bag if I had, you know, the more sturdiness of vellum. I mean, not vellum, duh, um, acetate. <laughs> so this is a piece of um, acetate that's got like cars and houses and stuff on it and gold. And then this is the same, um, peppermint thing that, that I used on the, on the um, K-Cup gift box, and this was already in my stash. So I just cut it out of different pattern papers. I have it all layered up on foam. Little gem, put some cute little gold, um, um, like half pearls. Some snowflakes, and then a cute little um, sentiment from my Tim Holtz um, sentiment little book. It says, the ho uh, with holly and evergreen. And so there's some cute sentiments in that set. So that's the largest, okay? And then here is the next to the largest. This one is just the pattern paper. I didn't put um, acetate on this one. This one, I used a rosette that was in a, uh, like a sticker pack thing, but I took off the center because it didn't match. I took that off and I put my little Santa there. It's one of those kind of, um, glossy, um, I don't know, like resin type pieces. It's from Hobby Lobby, I think. And then this is um, one of the Frank Garcia uh, puffy stickers. I just thought that, you know, it matched. These these were letters joy. <laughs> I peeled off of something else that didn't match. Um, it was a, a f um, like a sticker, like a layered sticker set again. Different set. So these are like all different things from di all different collections and stuff. The paper's all the same collection, but all the other rest of it is just, I'm just kind of, what matches I'm putting on. So anyway, I just thought those look cute and I just kind of staggered those there. I think that turned out cute. So that's the mediums. That's the next one. Okay, here's the third size. Love this paper. This is such a pretty paper. I've been having a lot of fun working with it. Okay, so this is a um, little foam. Yeah, I think it's kind of a foam sticker piece from Hobby Lobby. It had a red nose. I wanted a pink, so I took the red gem off and put a pink one on. And then this was a little um, candy cane clay piece I had in my stash that somebody gifted me. And then I um, attached a little tiny little resin bow up at the top. And then this Christmas tree right here is wood. It's the top of one of the um, picks from Dollar Tree. I just broke the pick off. And then I had a little... Christmas word thing again from the Tim Holtz um, um, little Christmas pad thing that I have it has all kinds of sentiments in it so that is the next size and then lastly here is the third size now this one I have the paper and then I layered a bit layered a vellum on top of it and you know I shouldn't have done that I I, I put glue right there and there and I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> I should have just attached it right underneath here. And I did attach it underneath my centerpiece here, but I guess I was have, ha, trying to keep it in place and I went ahead and put some up there. So that's what the darkness is there from the little bit of glue that I put on those edges. But anyway, um, this is a um, snowflake brad that I just received um, as a gift for my secret Santa. So look at, I'm already using it. So I put the brad in and then I, it has the two slits so you can put ribbon through it. So I ran ribbon um, through both of the slits in it and then tied a little bow, I tied a little knot and just left it like that. I think that turned out just really pretty other than my, <laughs> don't ignore that glue up there. <laughs> so anyway, those are my cute little tag closures. I'm gonna make some more of these cause these were really fun, easy, uh, really fun to decorate too and um, yeah it'll be fun to add on to some you know like little bags you could gift them for gifts you know with your friends and family you could use them to you know when you're sitting out happy mail and you're you know closing something up in a bag just have that tag hanging right there you could add a to and from you know that kind of stuff on it too you could add it on the back if you wanted it, wanted to do that but super super cute so those are my two project shares for today 
Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll have um, the website linked and also my affiliate link and the dies linked and my discount code polka10 will be listed down below also. Um, hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season. Um, thank you, Erica, for all these wonderful dies. I've been having a great time using them. And I will be back soon with more projects to share. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.